about medium, medium high heat, I'm going to take some good olive oil. You want sweet, you want medium, you want hot Italian sausage, whatever you like. I got the medium one to be safe, okay? What we're going to do, well, we can make it hot. In some olive oil, what I did is I squeezed the sausage out of the, uh, the casing. I just wasn't in the mood for casing right now, okay? Floss here, floss there, not today, just the sausage I'm interested in. All right, well, let me tell you why. See, I kind of got it like, in, like these like little meatballs, you see that? Love that. All right, we're gonna stop browning that. Now I'm gonna kick up the heat a little bit. Now, while that's cooking, acorn squash. That was these guys over here, right? Cut them in half. Just take a tablespoon. You can scoop out the seeds. Now they're like this, very simple. Don't worry about the base, I, you know, that doesn't bother me. You want a base, put a base on it. To me, look, looks good like that. Now, we're gonna take a pastry brush and I'm gonna show you, we'll fill one up first and I'll show you what we'll do. We'll use that as like a little, little holder thing here. We're gonna brush the inside with olive oil. Fabulous. Little olive oil with the flesh Then, we're gonna salt and pepper these guys, okay? A little salt, <laughs> some pepper. 350, 375 degrees. It's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour. You'll know it, you'll be able to get a fork in there, like fork tender thing. You with me so far? All right, I'm just checking, just checking. I know there's a lot of interruptions. With... Now, we're browning our sausage. See, I could stop right here. Sausage would be done. <laughs> Few in the pocket. I mean, but we're gonna bake these. 45 minutes, like I said. These were actually 50. Excuse me. 50 minutes. This is what they look like. Let me show you the fork tender thing. See? Fork tender. Keep them warm. Because I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Rigatoni pasta. Olive oil, salt, that pot that I had, put it in there. Al dente. That means... Still a little firm, a little crunch, not mush, right? Al dente. Take it out, cool it down right away. Cold water, that would be. Drain it, then I tossed it with a little bit of olive oil. That's why it's shiny like this. Okay? Now. Now what we're gonna do, once our sausage starts getting brown like that, can you feel the love right now? It's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> Gonna put some onion in there. My friend, you wanted it a little spicier. I'm gonna add a little crushed red pepper to kick it up a couple of notches, if you don't mind. <laughs> All right? How about about 20 cloves of chopped garlic in there, right? Some fresh parsley. Bam! Just a little salt, a little pepper. Now, here's the fun pot. Put the rigatoni in there. Don't do this at home. Now, here's what we're gonna do, folks. Check it out. I'm gonna turn the heat off of this. Doesn't that look good? Watch this. I got a little of uh, Mama Mia's, uh, that would be Hilda. A little red sauce. I think it needed just a tiny bit of that, you see? Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, We're gonna take the acorn squash and stuff it with the rigatoni and the sausage mix, right?
And then I'm going to put a little bit of mozzarella cheese like this. All right? What's going to happen here, I got to uh, tell you, is a food of love thing. You see this? To just kind of finish this, take a little bit more of that beautiful sauce that you have on the bottom of the plate, okay? And then you just serve one of these happy things right here. Happy, happy, right on top, just like that. Does that make you happy right there? It makes me happy. All right. Little cheese, oh yeah, babe. There you have it, all right? Baked acorn squash, folks, there you go.